you asked Mr. Ramaphosa to sit down first. I'm standing. No, when a point of order is called speaker, the speaker must sit down. You can't have two speakers standing at the same time. Please follow the procedure. Honorable, Honorable Malema. I'm rising on uh, Joint Rules 14S. And we can't both stand the speaker. I will order the president if, to sit down if I feel it is necessary for him to do so. I will. That's not how it works. Honorable Speaker, I think we are, as honorable members, violating the joint rules of this house by allowing Mr. Ramaphosa to speak here because he has taken this parliament to court. And by taking this parliament to court, he has passed a motion of no confidence on this parliament. And he can't have his cake and still eat it because until the court has resolved, on the dispute between us as parliament and him, he's got no leg to stand before us as a legitimate body to address us. And therefore, I ask that the speaker should actually declare this meeting closed because he had no right even to convene us to come here. How can he convene the people that he has taken to court? And in that court, speaker, you are the first respondent effectively has taken you to court and that if he wins this case it means that this body has acted uh, unlawfully against him we have a matter with him before court and the right thing to do will be that we should allow the court to make a ruling before we can interface in the manner we're doing because the president has declared a motion of no confidence against his own parliament something that has never happened Thank you. president Mbeki can confirm that that since 1994 we have seen this mess with what is before us now thank you very much thank you very much honorable malema i said this session is convened in terms of the constitution of the republic of south africa read together with rule seven and this has been called in order to discuss one item, in fact, not a discussion for the president to provide us with his program of action of government. And therefore, he will be allowed to proceed and deliver the State of the Nation address. This session has not been convened to discuss any other matter other than the one which I have just stipulated. Allow us, Honorable Malema, to allow the President to present his State of the Nation address. Thank you. Yes, Honorable Malema. I also would not want us to have a dialogue, Honorable Members. Yes. With, with due respect, Honorable Speaker, you cannot say that this event is called only to perform one item only. If that was the case, the, the joint rules were not going to allow the point of orders. Though the founders of this parliament knew that there might be a necessity even when we are convened in this manner for members of parliament to raise issues that are damaging the image of this institution. And I've raised that matter and I would like you to consider it and not just dismiss it on the basis that we are here to listen to one item only. The rules were not going to provide for point of orders if we are only subjected to listen to one item. And therefore, I think the speaker is out of order in that regard. Thank you very much, Honorable Malema. Honorable Mem Malema and Honorable Members, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, stopping the president from addressing the house in terms of section 34 everyone and everyone any one of us here has a right to access the courts of the republic of south africa i now please honorable members invite the president to deliver the state of it is in our interest for us to listen to the State of the Nation address, Honorable Members. Honorable Shivambo, Honorable Malema, Honorable Mende, 
Honorable Mawutwe? No. Honorable Jamini? No. Honorable Njozi? No. I don't need to be assisted to chair, please. Let me deal with my mess right now. It's mine. Leave me to deal with it. Honorable, the ones I've just called now, you can leave the house. Now, now. Sergeant and arms, leave the house. Point of order. And stop screaming at us. Lower that hand. Orupu, man. Thank you. Security services, you may intervene. Security services of the Republic of South Africa, you now come into the chamber and remove the members. The business is suspended for the next 10 minutes. <laughs>